Right. Hello. I'm. This is my Bladefall Trapper. So just gonna take a look at the gear here. Wand has pretty generic. Um, you get spell damage. You get crit strike for spells. That's pretty much all you want. Um, another really good choice to have in your weapon slot is Divinarius because it gives just about the same stats. A little bit, something like 60% spell damage, 90% spell crit, plus some of the uh, implicit crit that you get on a dagger, along with some AoE, which is always nice for Bladefall. The rest of my armor is rare, pretty much. You want life and energy shield, as I am a hybrid character. Trappers that go uh, acrobatics. Instead, like and head down for the <coughs> master sapper node. Can use uh, can use evasion armor as well. I'm using energy shield because I'm up here. Uh, you get life resists pretty much everywhere. All of my gear is self found, uh, other than the deer stalkers. The deer stalkers I bought pretty early on in the league, but uh, they're a really good investment to make because they give some life, some evasion, and they give you a free 5 link for basically forever. Um, you can see I'm level 85 and I'm still using them. I'm planning to swap these out for probably a unique chest plate. I'm looking at either using a Cherubim's Maleficence, a little bit increased chaos damage, really good max life, um, and then rare boots. I'll probably have to 5 link that. Uh, so, 5 link chest plate, rare boots is always better. In my opinion, because you get the uh, move speed even when you're not throwing a trap. So right now I only get 30% move speed if I throw a trap, and it only lasts for 10 seconds, 9 seconds. So that's not not exactly ideal. Jewelry get resist get life. Um, obviously my jewelry is not all that great. Ming's heart is a really good damage increase, but it doesn't get. But obviously it reduces your life and energy shield. Gives you some good chaos res as well if you really need it. Without it, I'm at 3.4k life with it. 3.2k ish. Jaws of Agony is super good for our build. It gives trap damage and physical damage, which are both uh, really good for scaling our damage. Gives life. Uh, physical damage taken up from attacks is kind of like a, just a, a bonus. And what's really good is the 25% chance to gain a power charge when you throw a trap, along with the level 20 bear trap skill. And what that means is that uh, when you're throwing a multi-trap, if you are using multi-trap and you throw one, um, you can actually get multiple power charges from a throw because you're throwing three traps. As you can see, I got one power charge from that first throw, and, and, uh, and I got two from throwing these three traps here. Um, al that along with the Blast Cascade, um, notable here, keeps your power charges up at full pretty much indefinitely, so that's a really good pickup. Level 20 bear trap pretty much carries you in terms of single target damage. You can see there I've got about 19k per hit. Um, belt, same with the jewelry, you get life, you get resists. Uh, sunblast is an option for better, a little bit more sun, uh, trap damage. I had one in here somewhere, I don't remember where I put it. Um, I was using it, but I need the uh, resistances. Ideally you want life there as well. So basically, yeah, it's pretty... pretty General, uh, pretty standard gear. Let's take a look at the skill tree. You start, I start Shadow. These physical and chaos nodes are super, super efficient. They scale both the physical damage and whatever added chaos you have, and also the poison damage that you get afterwards, which is a big percentage of our uh, of our damage. Uh, this coordination, go through coordination, go up to trickery for spell crit. Uh, basically, just a crit chance and intelligence there. You get life here. More physical damage, more physical damage, a little bit of crit chance. Physical and chaos, obviously. Evasion energy shield uh, is good. Gives, uh, nullification actually is really good for us now. It gives life and energy shield. It's in a little bit of an awkward spot. But overall, it's still alright. Um, you just do the usual shadows to start this area. You go over here. You don't you don't pick up high explosives because trigger radius is kind of a... It's more of a luxury thing, I feel like. There's a little bit of trap damage along with trigger radius here, but honestly I feel like this these nodes are uh, expeditious munitions, this cluster is uh, luxury. So you can get these your last couple levels if you're like just pushing 
pushing 90 or something. Um, but there are there are better nodes to go for um, for damage, definitely. And trigger radius is uh, it's kind of moot uh, if you have either have sunblast or if, if if you're throwing multi traps, it's kind of uh, pointless. Get life pretty much everywhere you can. It's hard to get it on the right hand side of the tree, so I'm over at the Templar area. Um, Saboteur is really good trap damage. It's good trap damage everywhere. Clever Construction is super good to pick up early if you plan on leveling with a trapper, because traps cannot be damaged for five seconds after being thrown is a super uh, good quality of life thing. So like um, annoying archers, like piety and stuff, can't just insta insta kill your traps right when you throw them. Go up through here, you grab life and energy shield, obviously. Pick up the physical nodes first. These four chaos nodes are really good damage, but only after, only if you're using chaos conversion, using, for example, a lightbane raiment, which I have in here. Uh, a lightbane raiment gives 30% uh, of physical converted to chaos. Those are really, those nodes are really good if you're using a chaos conversion. Otherwise, just pick up the physical. These four nodes can come as luxury. Pick up spell crit, kind of as your like last. Kind of as your last investment, uh, spell crit and AOE. Obviously, you're you're the kind of last investment because Blade Falls base AOE, even without the AOE nodes on the tree, even without uh, increased AOE or anything, is pretty good. It's AOE coverage, especially with multi trap. Um, Hasty reconstruction is a really, really, really good uh, notable uh, cooldown recovery for traps. Is pretty much the best quality of life you can get, bringing your recharge rate down. Uh, so you can throw more traps more quickly. Um, then you kind of head up through the witch area. You grab this. You grab this node, sort of a uh, like right at the same time you're specking it to spell crit. But I would suggest leaving that out. Just going through the uh, just go through these pathing nodes um, down through here. If you're doing this variant, obviously. Um, and you go into the Templar area, there's lots of life to pick up, lots of uh, good spell damage, lots of life. There's another power charge, which I'm eventually going to get along with this one and this. So I'm going to have about, let's see, one, two, uh, and I have four from your base plus uh, Alina. So you pick up basically life, spell damage, Amplify is really good, uh, Blast Radius is really good, I just picked that up. after. So I'm level currently level 85. My defenses are a little bit lackluster, um, mostly because of my gear is not all too great. I would prefer to get really good energy shield on all of my gear, and uh, so we're looking at like maybe 300 on the chest, 200 plus on the hat, 100, 100 plus on the gloves, 100 plus on the boots, uh, along with life on all the on all of the gear as well. For like a for for a decent energy shield pool, along with a decent life pool. Um, if you're running in a, I'm running with my, with my friends a lot in a party, so I picked up. I have conduit here. Um, if I probably if I once I start forging ahead on my own, or if, or if I'm not playing in a party very often, I probably get. I probably unscale conduit. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six nodes I can save. I can put them towards uh, probably power charges, and get into Deep Wisdom and Heart of Soul here. So basically my next couple of levels are going to be picking up Deep Wisdom, these mana and life nodes, and Heart and Soul. So I, f I feel like my mana is a little, kind of becoming an issue as my um, my blade fall levels up. It is almost level 20, so I'm hitting the cap there. Um, and yeah, you pick up, definitely pick up Fatal Toxins if you're, if you, as soon as you use po the Poison Support Gem, because this is a humongous ton of damage that you can pick up. Um, we're looking at, if you look at the build guide, we're looking at like uh, even more, potentially more damage from your poison than you actually do on your initial hit. And your initial hit is already very, very, very powerful. Um, I'll, I don't, there's a, there is an alternative way you can build this. Is instead of basically you uh, instead of going, you basically stop at a, a causes dominion. Instead, you go up and pick up some of this life. Preparation. This cluster here. And instead of going th down through the Templar, all these nodes here, you go straight down here. You have access to Heartseeker. You have access to um, to Herbalism, really good life nodes, and the Jewel Socket if you want it. You have uh, this pretty much for acrobatics trappers. I'm trying to run a hybrid one because I've never done it before. But if you're running acrobatics, uh, you go you can go down through here. You can grab Heartseeker. Grab Herbalism, obviously. 
and then you also get access to probably the best, one of the best trapping, uh, the best trapping cluster for straight damage. You get throw speed, you get trap damage on every single node. Master Sapphire gives two additional traps, which is humongous, and 30% increased trap damage. So this is 92% trap damage that I haven't taken. That is potentially that you can take pretty easily. There's less damage up here, but a little bit more life available to me. And being my first character, and kind of unsure whether the build's gonna work, honestly or not. I have I'm up here instead of down here. But I'd I'd say if you have better gear, like it's your second, third character, down here is probably where you want to where you want to go. It's got more damage. You have access to acrobatics, a little bit less life. Uh, you get a little bit less life. You can you can still pick up cool preparation. You can still pick up part of soul because you're in here for the uh, spell crit and AOE anyways. And that's basically the skill tree. Pretty simple, you pick up chat damage, you pick up physical damage. Uh, spell crit comes later and then you can uh, pick up life pretty much anywhere you can get it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Looking at, just in terms of uniques, you have Jaws of Agony obviously is good. Ming's Heart is really good if you can spare the resistances and life on your rig. Negative life in fact. Deer Stalker is probably your best bet. For leveling all the way until you get a nice five link, six link chest plate. Nothing else is really of value. Ah, uh, different areas, like I said. Um, let's grab a quick map here. It's okay. Uh, also, for as far as your links go, Bladefall in currently in my deer socket, obviously it's it's a five green link. You got Bladefall, uh, the implicit trap, obviously. Poison is your probably your number one DPS gem. Trap and mind damage, your number two. Multi traps is just kind of for AOE coverage for me right now. Um, I was actually I actually tried it with increased AOE here uh, instead. Feels alright. Conk, conk effect is also really good because Bladeful actually doesn't get that much smaller with conk effect, so that's a really good link there. I'm just used to throwing the multi traps, so I I'm sticking that there. My bear trap's currently four linked, obviously, in the Jaws of Agony is linked to trap and mind damage, poison, increased duration. You can find the math on why increased duration's in there uh, on the uh, build guide. As far as other links go, I have this Blade Vortex link here. It's I'm not 100% sure why. I can't even sustain the mana cost. Uh, I the main use of I see most I see most use of it when I'm use, when I'm doing like uh, Elrion dailies, weak mobs, and you just kind of stand there and keep on casting. There's a Val Cold Snap I use. I use actually. I actually really like this for uh, popping talismans and strong boxes because it it lays uh, children ground everywhere. And along with uh, my my blasphemy link, makes enemies really slow. Summon Ice Golem. Ice Golem obviously for the extra crit. You can actually use Flame. I uh, I would suggest using a Flame Golem all the way until you spec into like the majority of your spell crit nodes. Doomcast, Annihilation. Um, you get your power charge stuff. You get Blast Cascade, this cluster here, and uh, Assassination. Until you get these nodes, I would use a Flame Golem, but level do level an Ice Golem. I neglect, neglected to do that, so it was a little bit low level. I was using EK to level and still just sitting around there. There's an extra Bladefall gem leveling up for when I uh, 20 quality this one. Uh, another tra Trap gems leveling up when I swap to a 5 or a 6 link, obviously. Um, Contagion and Enfeeble. I was using. I actually leveled with Contagion and uh, a Contagion Essence Strain because I because Shadow does pick up decent uh, physical and chaos damage nodes here. And I and I went through here through Entropy to grab damage over time, more chaos damage instead of going up here. I literally respect from this into this. It's a, it's a pretty easy way to level, but I I honestly feel like you can actually just level with Blade Vortex, picking up the physical nodes, uh, going through here basically. But you can pick up cruel preparation. You can go through here, go through here, grab the grab force shaper, and blade vortex will pr pretty much carry you. Uh, alternatively, you can level with traps. Uh, so you don't pick, you don't go all the way up up through here. You pick up. Obviously, you have to start there. There's nothing else really good here. Uh, leveling with traps, probably you'd use a uh, fire trap. Fire traps has always been really good. Grab your trap damage here, trap damage here, life here. You can actually go through here, grab. AoE nodes early on for Fire Trap. It's not bad. Um, so basically, yeah. Let's get into a map. This is 
far as my uh, mana reservation goes, I'm looking at... I'm using a pretty low level clarity, I think it's like... Actually it's not that low level, 14. Um, reserves about 200 mana. I don't have any reduced reservation, so that's pretty much how much the clarity reserves. 203, and also a Blasphemy Temporal Change. Temporal Change is, uh, on the Blasphemy link is really good because uh, it's kind of like a defensive aura around you, and it also lengthens the duration of the poison on enemies, but it doesn't decrease the damage per second it does. So you're basically, it's basically just a multiplier for your damage. As long as they're affected by the by the by the temp chains. You see, sometimes you hit like little obstacles in the ground. Same with any other trapper, basically. The damage is good. Pretty safe because you can keep moving around. See, basically, oh, for opening strong bosses is pretty much what I do. Throw some traps. Pop a, pop a cold snap for a chilled ground. Same thing for the uh, summoning circles for talismans. Um, as always, just keep moving. You pretty much won't, won't run into many problems. Uh, the way you kind of use your energy shield, especially because my energy shield is so low right now, is I'm is you wanna you want you want to actually just use it as kind of like a, a warning. You see, if you see your energy shield drop, you get the fuck out. You just drop a trap and run. Drop a trap and run. Keep on doing that. Rares, uh, if they're with a pack, will usually drop to the uh, blade fall trap. If not, you just kind of uh, chuck a bear trap at them. I don't. I basically don't use the bear trap unless. Uh, there's a rare, I guess, left behind. The Bladefall Traps, if the rare is like in the middle of the pack, the Bladefall Trap will, will definitely kill him. Especially if it crits. The crit chance on my Bladefall, let's, we're looking at it now, is 36.9%. Kind of low for a trap. Uh, it's decent for a spell. A little bit lower than I would like. But even non crit, feels great to use. Traps one shot very easily, so you see for more powerful mobs, you just kind of uh, you just throw a bear trap their way. There's the boss room. This is a level 72 map. I am level 85, but we don't actually have any high level high, uh, high tier maps. I haven't been playing very I haven't been playing very much. I need to take care of my car actually. I haven't driven it in a long time. I need to get a new battery for it. Um, clear speed, obviously not as high as like a uh, decently geared uh, ranged bow, bow character. Nothing all too good there. 12% quality on a Blood Rage is not too bad. Basically, as long as you're, uh, you're confident that, you're, that your traps can one-shot, uh, either just straight one-shot with a crit, or if, they, or if the poison finishes off the mobs, you can uh, kill a pack and just move on without even watching. Uh, if you turn up your loot filter sounds, actually, it will, it will tell you if something nice drops, so you don't even need to worry about that. You can see the uh, power to sustain, it's pretty good. Um, I do have to throw a trap every so often to keep my runs to keep my move speed up because I am using deer stalkers, but once I get better rare boots obviously with move speed, I need to keep throwing traps as I run around. Graveyard Mervale does stupid amounts of damage for whatever reason. Um, but you can just keep moving, throw bear traps every so often. She did pick up a uh, talisman there. Just keep moving. Out of here, shit. The uh, poison DOT is really strong, so you don't need to um, don't need to stand still all too much. That's basically that. It was fairly safe to play. It's very 
pretty pretty flexible to gear in my opinion. Um, this is my first character in the league. Works pretty well. Looking at uh, without power charges up, about 10k average damage on a blade fall, 18.6k on a bear trap. If I'm playing with my friends, who uh, one of them's running a hatred, at least one of them's running a hatred, maybe an anger thrown in there. We can push this to about 13, 14k, and this way up to about 25k in a single hit. Obviously, the poison damage scales only from the chaos and physical, so the hatred doesn't help our uh, poison damage, but the poison from just from this alone. It's like blade fall hit, for every volley that hits an enemy, you get maybe a hundred and seventy percent of the total damage, total hit damage, uh, as as a poison DOT over a two or a three seconds, which is a good like maybe twenty about. At least 25k damage per blade fall volley, and we're looking at at least just rounding out to about 20,000. We're looking at like 45,000 minimum damage from bear trap. With increased duration, we're actually looking at something like 70 da 70,000 damage per bear trap. And remember, poison stacks. You can chuck bear traps and uh, say if the say if a mob is spawning, like the Val or Soul or so, throw three traps on top of him and he's dead, basically. Especially, you're especially lucky at bear trap crits, because unfortunately bear trap's not a not a spell. So all of our spell damage modifiers, um, we're looking at might of divinity, retribution, spell damage in general, and most importantly spell crit. So doom cast, annihilation, etc. They don't work on bear trap. So the only thing that lets bear trap crit off more often is number one power charges and number two the, those few terrible crit chance nodes first spells at least. You can get a uh, global crit, so, like on your amulet, using diamond rings. I think that helps. But other than that, bear traps uh, crit chance is somewhat low. So I'm, I'm expecting that once I, once I have better better crit, um, probably from my amulet, maybe a, a better diamond ring. I'm not expecting to go um, Molly Girls or anything, because I need the life and energy shield and resist from my gloves. But once you get decent crit and uh, spell crit, such as like a really high roll spell crit on your wand, uh, if you and you can actually drop draws of agony and use a really high spell crit plus spell damage shield, energy shield shield. And I mean, and then I actually I actually fully expect like a, a crit blade fall to do much more damage than a bear trap. That's basically the build. Uh, Thanks for watching, obviously. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned. I'll I'll try to keep updating the guide as I as I go on. I'm pushing for 90 on this character for the uh, for the challenge. What level 90 is it? There you go. Reach level 90. Take my first character to level 90, and I'll probably start on a, on, a, on another. It's my friend's uh, build ripped. Uh, not in hardcore, but he just doesn't want to play it anymore. I know. Planning on starting uh, an alt with him. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.